to another episode of Brian L's Brews, the show where I drink and evaluate the wonderful nectar of the gods that is beer. This week on the show, we've got another beer from Jackie O's in Athens, Ohio. This time, we have Bourbon Barrel Brick Kiln, a barley wine style ale aged in bourbon barrels. I'm salivating just thinking about it already. And this beer weighs in at a very hefty 11.8% percent alcohol by volume that's the kind of uh, gravity you would expect from a barley wine i'm expecting some very very mild hoppiness some good some mellowed mild hoppiness but very very present plus i'm expecting the good stuff from the bourbon barrel stuff i've seldom seldom been let down from a bourbon barrel beer ever and given that jackie o's has made some good beers before i've got good expectations before I get to those expectations, though, let's go over the scoring system used on this show real quick. Scoring for Brino's Brews is based loosely on the scoring system used by the Beer Judge Certification Program. In our system, a beer can earn a maximum of 10 points. One point can be awarded for appearance, two points for aroma, four points for flavor, one point for mouthfeel, and two points can be awarded for a beer's overall impression. And finally, partial points can be awarded in any category. So that's how scoring works. So let's crack open this bottle of Brick Kill and see if it hits me like a brick. Here we are. Very, very mild proof from this little bottle here. So let's get started. First off, one point for the appearance, its clarity, how it looks, what kind of head does it have, and everything that's pleasing to the eye. So here we go, one point. This glugs here. Not a whole lot of head here, but I think it's a barley wine style ale. The mild, oh, I'm getting some of the, I'm getting some of the, aroma already and I like that not a lot of head on this barley wine although I don't think they're supposed to have that pull it to the light very very dark very very see-through you expect that with a barley wine not see-through it at all very good color not a lot of head to speak of but again, because it's barley wine, and I believe it's been aged as it's supposed to be, you wouldn't expect a lot of head there. Nothing objectionable about this so far, so, as it's become, maybe not a tradition, but as I've been doing recently with these good beers, one point for the appearance. Up next is two points for the aroma. I'm going to get to this really quick since the head is pretty much gone now, so here we go, real quick, brick kiln, two points for aroma. Oh my goodness, I can smell the maltiness and just just that little bit of an aroma that you can get from a barley wine that you know that the hops are going to be so mellow and so awesome. And at the same time, I'm also getting that bourbon presence as well. It's very, very pleasant. It, 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 that, that's what's coming through the most, the bourbon barrel goodness that, I mean, if you've ever had, um, I just know it's Kentucky bourbon barrel ale, but that's got such a sweet pre sweet presence there i can smell that taste in this one here and i like it a lot i'm not going to beat around the bush on this one the smell is just great i got i get the maltiness i got the little bit of the hint that tells me that the hops are going to be mellow and the bourbon smell is very very pre present and pleasant two points on the line this gets the full two so far it looks good, so far it smells good, but those can both be deceiving as we've experienced on this show before. So let's get right to the meat of the matter and taste this beer. I hope we're not getting too much burn, but given it's a barley wine, I've got high hopes for this. So here we go, four points on the line for Black Kiln. Bourbon Barrel Black Kiln, that is. Bottoms up. Oh, oh. So smooth. 
This is going to be a hard one to describe. It's very, very smooth, very complex. It's definitely got that very, very mellow uh, hoppiness that you get with a good barley wine. The more I think about it, though, the more it makes me wonder that do you really need to bourbon barrel a barley wine? Isn't a barley wine good enough on its own? Never thought about that until now, but I'm not getting a whole lot of the bourbon or barrelness, or the bourbon or the oak that you expect from a bourbon barrel beer. This bourbon's very, very subtle. It needs to be subtle in order to, because barley wines by themselves, when they're done properly, are just so, like you said, the hoppiness is very mellow. You get a good maltiness. You don't want too much bourbon action in a beer of this kind. And it's, we're not getting that much, and that's a good thing. I'm not getting a blast of flavor from this one at all. But you're not supposed to with a barley wine. It's supposed to be very, very subtle. But I want to get a blast of flavor of something just so I can identify what it is. I mean, I'm getting the sweetness too, but again, I'm not sure if the sweetness is the bourbon or if it's the malt of the beer. The more I drink this, the more it intrigues me. The more there's... I want to keep drinking this because I want to keep digging deeper deeper into the psychology of this beer and just to try to pick it apart and figure out what's going on with it. I mean, because it's a barley wine, it tastes ridiculously smooth, like velvet almost. This is a very, this is very, very good. That's the best way I can sum it up is that it's really, really good. All the flavors are there, but they're just very, very subtle. You've got to stop and think about it and just, you got to explore the beer to get all the things, that, to get, I mean, what jumps at you first is just the mellow hop. The mellow hops, which is what you expect from a barley wine again. Then I got a little bit of the bourbon, then a little bit of the malt. I like for these flavors to be a little of just a teensy bit stronger, but it's still very, very good. At the same time, though, I'm thinking if these flavors were a little bit stronger, it just might ruin the whole balance of what a barley wine should be. I'm not sure if the bourbon barrel bit of this barley wine helps or not. If anything, it might take away from it. It might detract from it just a little bit. I mean, with a more common in-your-face kind of beer, yet it gives it a good boost. But for a barley wine, barley wines are supposed to be very, very fine products, very fine drinks, and that kind of takes away from it. I mean, I saw this, and I saw the regular version of Black Kiln on the shelves, and I thought, ooh, bourbon barrel, got to go with that. Kind of sad I did now. Makes me wonder what the regular black kiln would have tasted like. But for now, out of four points for flavor, the bourbon barrel black kiln gets 3.5. One point for the mouthfeel. That is the body and carbonation of this beer. As you can see right away, the beer is pretty flat. Not a lot. Well, not totally flat, but it does not have a lot of carbonation. But that's a good thing for a barley wine. Let's just evaluate it some more, shall we? The body is perfect. Absolutely perfect. No faults with it whatsoever. And like I said before, the carbonation is minimal. But then again, that's what you want from a good barley wine. You don't want a lot of carbonation just to interrupt anything else that's Going on with the very, very fine qualities of this type of beer. So, no gripes for me in that regard. The mouthfeel, one out of one. Finally, the overall impression. I said it when I was evaluating the flavor. I think that adding the bourbon barrel bits to Black Kiln here did more harm than good to this beer. Not a whole lot of horror, but I just, it's just, it just sort of broke the balance. It just sort of drove a wedge into all the fine points of the uh, barley wine. Not by a whole lot again, but just by enough to make me wonder what this stuff would have tasted like without the bourbon barrel flavor. I mean, for all, for all I know, the bourbon barrel could have improved it after I tasted it, but either way, this is still a good beer. And one you should definitely try if you're a fan of barley wines. So for the overall impression, I'm not going to give it a perfect 2, but I think 1.75 is a very, very fair score to give this for overall. Okay, I have done the math, 
And out of a possible 10 points available here on Brino's Brews, Bourbon Barrel Black Kiln from Jackie O's gets a 9.25. I think it's a very well-deserved score. This is a very fine beer, a very fine product, as I've come to expect now from Jackie O's in Athens, Ohio. Again, the only asterisk on this one is that this may or may not get have gotten a better score if I had tasted the original Black Kiln first. For all I know, the bourbon meal could have made it better. For all I know, it could have made it worse, like I theorized. That'll do it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And if you thought I screwed up this review, or if you've got any ideas for beers I should try on this show, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, as well as subscribing to Brian O's World. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a good one.